This belt driven video was brought to you by Squarespace. From online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is a perfect place to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. CGTV and more specifically ladies and gentlemen welcome back to a very familiar location you will recognize if you are an avid viewer of the channel and you're observant you will recognize that I'm here at the classic car company because today I am reintroducing a car back onto the channel at the end of the year a triumphant return my BMW M3 now I have alluded to the quite sad status actually of this car a couple of times in the past uh, few months and the past couple of videos uh, but today I'm finally here to pick the car up and explain what on earth has been going on with this car. So without further waffle then and my little blue beard, say hello again, once again to my BMW M3. Here she is then ladies and gentlemen and you'll be immediately probably say, but TGE, why do we care? It looks exactly the same. There's been a saga with this car key in hand here. There's been a saga. So when I actually bought this car back in May 2020, I think it was, so best part of 18 months ago now, I never actually received the V5 for this car. I bought it, I got the new keeper slip, I went on my merry way, but the V5 never turned up. Now me being me, I just faffed around with it and I fumbled it and I just carried on as normal. I actually drove around in the car for a little while thinking the DVLA are on strike or whatever it is, or COVID, whatever it is, they will sort it out at some point. 18 months or so passed and I never ended up with a V5, just the new keeper slip. Now, that's actually quite an annoying situation to be in. I rang the DVLA uh, and they sent me an email a checklist thing that I need to go down to a post office with ID and all sorts of varying garb, um, all of which I couldn't be bothered with. So this never actually got resolved. So I spoke to David anyway, after having left this thing for months, after the last time it came here and they did amazing work on it, I left it underground in my storage unit, not plugged in. And in fact, the drive home to collect this thing, when they had actually made it all fresh, it got all wet and all dirty. So I didn't put a cover back on it. I got busy, blinked, lost a few months, and suddenly this thing was covered in dust, literally almost an inch of dust, all over the thing with a dead battery in my storage unit. So at which point I definitely called David and I said, David, mate, we've got a bit of a sorry scenario. You know that M3 that you and Steve made look amazing? It's a bit of a wreck. It's underground in a location that he knows very well. Uh, it's underground, underneath a load of dust. It doesn't start, it's completely dead to the point. The key didn't do anything. It was completely, completely, completely dead. There's no power in the particular bay it was in before you all shout at me to plug in a CTEC. We're about to get CTEC involved. I actually put a CS3 plugged into, so the mobile battery unit, I actually plugged it in to the car and revived it. Well, David did it anyway. David did it. I'm um, technically inept, so um, he actually uh, saved this thing. Anyway, it started, it needed an MOT as well, so the MOT had expired, and altogether it was just a very sorry state. And in that brief period, at some point, some idiot had tried to clean it as well, so damaged some of the paintwork. So it's been here anyway, under the care of the guys here at the Classic Car Company. They've taken the old ceramic off the bonnet, because actually where all the dirt had been sticking, it actually kind of welded itself uh, to the paint. There's been some paint correction, and there's been a new layer of ceramic applied. So all very exciting stuff. There are plans for this car. There are plans. I am going to take it to a place called Spartan Automotive. They are going to do the rod bearings and they're also going to change the horrendous exhaust that I got done to it back to stock to make it slightly quieter because it's absolutely horrible. Let's star up then. You can hear how bad this thing actually is. Uh, it was funny for about five minutes and then I realized it's actually not funny at all. And part of the reason why I haven't actually used it so much. So key in the slot there. Let me go and dump this out the back. Look at that by the magic of the internet. Power of technology, ladies and gentlemen. Let's fire up then. And you can hear how horrendous it actually is and why I want to change it. I don't want it stock stock, but I don't want it standing like this. So 
that then is on a cold start. It does get more bearable, but that is absolutely appalling. It's at the point where my dogs hate being in this car. I'm going to get away from it. I'm going to go all the way over here. It's at the point that my dogs actually... There we go. See, now that's more palatable. I know you can map out the cold start thing, but I don't want to be messing around with the engine mapping too much. Um, it's at the point my dogs hate even being in it. It sets off car alarms in the storage unit where I store it, and it really just isn't a pleasant environment to be in when you turn that car on. So I will be getting that put back to stock, I think, along with the rod bearings being done, which is actually going to be done this side of the new year with the guys at Spartan Automotive. So I will go and do a video with those guys and we'll go into what it entails to get the rod bearings checked. But for now, the car is now legal. I have a V5 back in my name. And the really exciting bit is that I'm going to change the number plate. Those OGs on the channel will remember. I will change the number plate back to T6EXX. The original plate was on that car and actually the first private plate I ever had it's on originally my uh, Mini Cooper S and then a 987 Boxer that I had and then went onto this car many, many moons ago. And I've had that plate um, literally since I was about 18. So that plate will now go onto this car. I can finally do it legally. All jolly exciting. Let's jump in then. I'm gonna plug a GoPro into the window and we'll go for a little spin then. We'll drive out of here and give you a little, give you a little idea as to what it's like to drive. Cause I haven't actually driven it for a while. Let's go then it's so weird getting back in this car it just feels like kind of like an old friend it's pretty tight in here oh that front splitter is just a real cause for concern all right then let's get moving there's actually a traffic police uh station next to the classic car company so i'm actually quite relieved to now be driving around fully legit not that i wasn't fully legit before when i didn't have the v5 it just, when I was pulled over, or if I was pulled over, which I wasn't in the time I had this before um, sorting out the docks, the V5 just wouldn't have been in my name. Um, it wouldn't have been registered as stolen. It's my car, the funder had funded against it. You know, I've got proof of title in the new keeper slip, but it just hadn't been registered properly the DVLA. So I don't want any of you thinking I was driving around illegally, um, but just for peace of mind, obviously, I wanted to get that sorted. And I also wanted to put my private plate on it. This car, warmed up now as well because I just left it running for about 20 minutes. <laughs> is actually really really good as well this isn't going to turn into a driving video don't worry you probably can't even see me over there anyway but for now from myself my bmw m3 thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for a rod bearing video and seeing whether or not we can return this thing back to a stock sounding noise because it's a little it's a little bit annoying to be honest with you see you later guys i think this will be my last video before christmas so if it is have a good one. I know I said it in the last video, but have a good Christmas. Stay safe. Look after each other. Look after yourselves. Look after your brains. And I will see you on the other side. If you're finding it a crap time of year, that is quite normal. A lot of people do. Um, so don't feel like you're the only one. You're very definitely not. Chin up. Get through it. And I'll see you on the other side. Ciao. If you ever dreamed of setting up your own website, be it for a passion, for pleasure, or for business, you're in the perfect place with Squarespace. Squarespace has got loads of tools to help you build exactly what you want online and get the most out of it in the most time efficient way. The first really useful feature that I'm obviously a huge fan of is the fact that you can integrate your social media really easily into a Squarespace website. You've got all the tools to enable you to do that really, really easily. The second thing, if you're a busy bee like me, you can backload content and it will upload to your website in a time delayed way. So if you've got a busy afternoon and you've got a free afternoon, you can just dump all the content and make all the content one afternoon and then your website will drop it all out over time and put it all on the site in a time released sensible way. The third thing that's really, really useful is the fact that if you're developing a website, you'll know that you actually need to develop two versions, one for a desktop and one from your mobile device. Most people actually view websites on mobile devices, so it's really, really key to have a mobile optimized website. And Squarespace allows you to develop 
develop both pretty much at the same time with ease. Another thing that's particularly pertinent if you're running an online business is email campaigns. Squarespace allows you to set up amazing, effective email campaigns within your website. Really, really key. And the final thing that I want to touch on, you can actually set up subscriptions. And again, something that I personally use with great effect is a subscription model for Crep Chief Notify. Again, that's really, really key. It allows you to build recurring revenue and actually add huge value to your business as well. All those things and many, many more are part of the reason why Squarespace really is an unbelievable place to start and build a website. Now, as an exclusive offer for you guys, if you click the link below, you'll get a free trial. And when you are ready to get going, you'll get 10% off your first order with Squarespace. So get in the mix. Use that specific link below. Use the code below. Make sure you do it all. Otherwise, you won't get the discount. Get clicking. Enjoy. Get creating. And as always, keep in touch with what you are creating.